guys are the ones who really have the power in all of this. I mean, the lawyers are good to, you know, represent, but it, the, the choice comes down to you guys. And, you know, one of the things that I've looked at in projects that are real similar to this and in other places, is there have been a tremendous amount of academic studies looked at the, the impact economically for these kinds of investors coming into our small towns. And a lot of people have fought them and have fought these kinds of things being built in their communities because it does hurt the established communities. And one of the things that has been really successful for these other communities in fighting this is the question of, do we have a need in this community for elderly low-income housing? Well, I was part of the folks that were looking at the petitions and I went to some of the low income housing projects in Lake Park. And they can't afford the amount of money that they, what, what do we got, 437 bucks for, for a two bedroom? The, you know, the lunch lady here, who works here, talked to me at length when she signed that petition. And she said she looked at the apartments next to McDonald's. She couldn't afford it. She can't afford $437. So for the people of Lake Park, that a housing community like this might benefit, someone like her, she's still not going to be able to afford this. And I pulled the records of what, what rent is in our community, and we have about 50 people in the city of Lake Park, 59 people, that are paying that amount already. We have 15 people that are paying between 400, uh, about $400. We have 20 people that are actually paying $150 to $199, and only four people who pay eight to $899, and six who pay close to a thousand. Those are all the renters in 2011, which was the most recent data I could get. The point of all those numbers is that number one, the people that they're saying they'd be serving can't afford that amount of rent anyway. And number two, we have lower income housing that's open, that's available for folks. So we're not going to be able to fill these 64 apartments with the existing Lake Park residents. And I just ask you to look at what is the need of Lake Park people. And we definitely don't need like additional pollution and problems with our water runoff and not to mention the septic area around when the flooding happens. But we definitely don't need to have vacant apartments either. So I just ask you guys to really take into consideration what the needs are. And if anything was built there, it should be something I have to, to laugh. The people in the, in the low income housing in Lake Park said, why don't they build a Burger King? We need a Burger King. That's what we need. <laughs> so I'm just asking you guys to take into consideration the needs of the people. Thanks. <laughs>